Welcome to Bricks Nice. Today we're going to build a Lego safe and try and make it unbreakable. I'm going to slide that over so it locks. I'm going to attempt to make a really strong cage. Ah, this thing's hefty, guys. There's no way I'm ever getting this apart. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley and today we're going to build an unbreakable Lego safe. We're going to try our hardest to make this thing as unbreakable as possible within the limits of you can only use your hands to break it open and you can't break any pieces, you know. We're going to use a five step process for this. The first step is going to be building a box that is, well, just a little safe box with an opening drawer. Inside of this box, we're going to put three mechanisms to keep it shut. We have to make sure that all of these are unbreakable, so they have to be either recessed into the door or built in so well that you can't break them off to actually get the stuff out of the safe. I'm also going to start the timer right above me, and that'll tell us how long it takes. And when we're done, we're going to hit this button so you guys can see how long this build will actually take to do. And maybe you can do it yourself. Also, make sure you stick to the end because I'm going to try my very hardest to actually break into this safe without the key or the combination or anything anything like that to see if I can actually get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some bricks and start building a box. Okay, so we have our bricks here. What we're gonna do is we're going to make a thing right there. Let's start with these. One. So I kind of had a vibe idea for the inside. We're gonna actually make it like multicolored bricks. Then the outside's gonna be kind of more industrial. This inside box actually is going to look just kind of like Lego-y. a little floor layer of plates here and then we'll lock all this down with tiles so that we can actually slide the drawer in and out for those tiles let's actually just tile the front and then we'll do lines of tiles so that we don't have to waste a ton we'll get some random colors here and we need that one across the front kind of do that make a couple stripes that go all the way back to the back that'll make the drawer easily slide in and out well i should block the only camera that's uh shooting this right now whoops okay should be pretty sturdy. Look at this, you can just take this drawer, slide it in like that, and it slides out. So now we need to transform this drawer into the thing. The first mechanism I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wow. The first mechanism I'm going to put into place is the sliding mechanism. So we're gonna have three sliders on the front of this, which means we actually need to have a couple holes inside of this. So we're gonna have one brick layer represented by that piece right there. We're gonna have the sliding layer represented by that piece there. And then I'll show you We'll have another layer in the back here and then followed by the rest of the mechanism space because the other mechanisms do need to take up a little bit more space than that. So we're gonna build it back to about here. We need to build a square on that and then this will slide in like so. And the sliders, what essentially they're gonna do is imagine this green piece is a slider. So you'll have a little knob in the front which allows you to adjust this, but you won't be able to see where the sides are. So each one of these knobs will be placed at a different position from the front. So you can move that knob, but you won't know where this is. So if this, this could be locking it, this could be unlocking it, so you won't know. And there's gonna be three of these, so you have to actually follow the code, which will be represented by colors or numbers or something. Come to think of it, this will be really easy to break, right? Let's just keep going with it anyway, because I'm not sure. All right, so this is what we have. We have this little mechanism where you lock it, or these would be like the deadbolts, right? Slide those over, it doesn't come out. So here's our plan. We're going to build a combination lock, uh, essentially using a little twisty thing. Just inset it in the wall just a little bit. Let's work on this carbonation, <laughs> combination. Sorry, I was drinking sparkling water. I got all excited. All right, so the way we're gonna do this, still moving stuff. Here's the plan. Let's take this out here like this. So now we have this. You can see how this works, obviously, with the little holes there just to show you guys that if you haven't seen it already. So we're gonna use these pieces. These pieces are pretty cool, pretty easy. So I'm gonna show you how you can build a simple combination lock out of these things here. So essentially, so we're gonna take this idea and we're going to move it to other pieces. <laughs> Cause I just realized this won't work um, for the reason that, if you can see here, um, like it just won't. So I have an idea. We have these awesome pieces like this, and we also have these awesome pieces like this that are round. So these will actually work. Just put three of these on here. Now we have a little slot for a pin or something to fall down into, which is perfect. So if we make one of those, we cap it with this, 
Now, this is also free sliding because there's no friction in the center, right? You can run a pin directly through there, hold both sides of that, and this thing moves freely, which is perfect. We can just have one long axle that goes through all three of these and it'll just work perfectly. So let's build two more of those. Because the last one just really didn't work. We're just gonna take this, we're gonna put it on here like so. And then put on the next one. Put it on here like so. And now clearly we need to play a way to hold this up. But for now, you get the point. You spin the front of this, which would be attached to this. Let me just put that on there. You spin the front of this, and it spins the back, and so we need this to be way longer. <laughs> cool. On the outside, we're going to stack these little purple studs. Put that on there. Put this in the middle here, like that. See, now when we turn this, it'll turn that one. The only issue is these aren't as frictionless as I thought they'd be. In order for these to stay without just turning the whole thing and they'll move wonky like that, we need to have more friction with these against the bottom than these against each other. So for that, I'm going to literally grab some of those Lego rubber pieces. Right, so we're gonna use a few of these, these things here, and these will just slip under and hopefully stay there. Probably not though, so let's just mark. You solve it let's say purple needs to go so you have to turn it one rotation two full rotations until you get all of them going and then you're gonna go purple or we're gonna call that blue at the top and then we're gonna go counterclockwise to green at the top and then we're gonna go yellow at the top or orange at the top and there all three of those have lined up so now the pins can drop it down or the deadlock can slide over the deadbolt. <laughs> Not really sure. So now if we can just take this, shove it on here, and then figure out how do we actually make this lock. Guys, it is time for today's super special shout out. Today's super special shout out is Tricker14 without the I. So it's like T R K R Tricker. Thank you, Tricker14, for commenting down below. Super shout out squad or hashtag. SSS. Guys, if you want to get a shout out just like Tricker14 or Trucker14 or Tricker14, make sure you comment down below Super Shoutout Squad and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content. Now, let's get back to building the safe that's giving me a real hassle. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this here and see if it works. So if we put that in, you know, slide that over so it locks, and then we have to randomize this, you know, so you randomize the safe mechanism. It's a little flimsy right now because we have to build a box underneath to hold the cache and stuff. Now this won't go out. We also need to make that a little more stable. So you can turn this, you can do all that, it won't work. And then all you have to do is put in the correct combination. Line up all those pieces that just broke off. We'll just pretend this is this now because the piece broke off. Once you do that, you can turn this like so, and then you can pull the safe out, and you can lock it back up, randomize it, which would do those and stuff, and then it won't won't close. So this that's it. That's it. Okay. That's awesome. That's great. That's great. All right. So now let's let's just reinforce this. We have one more mechanism to build and then we need to make the box right down here that will hold the actual cache and stuff. I don't really want to hide the mechanics that much because I think it's cooler with them, but I'll, I'll see how that goes. So let's finish building up this side, uh, close that thing off, re reinforce everything on the inside so it can't be broken because that's really important. Then the box part should be finished and we'll just have to do the, the cage around it. Now we need to make the key. So the key is gonna be extremely simple. I'm going to build inside of this, right here. Let me just build that up real quick. It's literally gonna be a simple key, I'll build that. We'll start with this here, and then at the end, we're literally going to put this yellow piece. So it will go inside of this, and then you just turn it. So we'll have a thing on, on this so you can turn it. Throw that in like that. That will go over like so and lock it. Can't pull that out. That's, that's with just that too. See, once you turn or put the key in, which has this thing on it, you put the key in, you turn it. Okay, so that's exactly what we want, you know. Now we need to make a little keyhole on the front, really simply using magic. Dang guys, this actually, this ain't going anywhere as long as we build this up a little bit. This one can be disengaged by gravity, but like, who's gonna know? 
All right, guys, we are really close. I have started putting on these pieces, which are Technic pieces that look like this. Stick those on there. I have a drawer of them right here. And I'm going to attempt to make a really strong cage. Now, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that exactly, but I'm thinking <laughs> if we have two bars that go across the top, then we'll attach those like that. And then if we attach these with Technic pins, we really just wanna squeeze everything together because I did do a drop test already with this and the outside broke apart everywhere. The inside, pretty much intact. It's just because the outside broke, it was things like Piggy. So we want to do that. And let's just build a bunch of these, okay? Let's build a bunch of these things laid out like this. Okay, so now if we take this and we put it in the center of this, two studs away from the outside, bop it down, same thing over here. Here's my thought, and this is strictly coming from watching JK Brickworks video. We just wanna interlock everything. And as soon as I figure out how to do that, I'll show you guys how to, yeah, li literally like that. I knew that, obviously. The nice thing is we can take this off like that. Yeah, this is where it gets tricky when you have to close everything in. See, like, look, now that I have that brick on there, I can't, I can't separate these to take that apart, so it should, in theory, stay together. Anyway, go, go check out JK Brickworks video because it uses the same principle, which is really genius, by the way. How do I do this? There's no way I'm ever getting this apart. All right, guys, we've just finished our unbreakable safe. I'm gonna stop the timer at four hours and 42 minutes. We got it done in under five hours. Let's head over to set B and actually test it to see if this is truly an unbreakable Lego safe. Let's do it. The first obstacle, the slidey systems. Slide them into the correct positions for the safe to open. The second mechanism, the keyhole. Make sure you have the right key that literally anyone can access. The third mechanism, the combination. Make sure that you spin the combination the right way and then spin the other thingy. All right guys, so here we have it, the Lego Unbreakable Safe. We might change the title to the Unhackable Safe. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I can get into this, so check this out. So we have the, f <laughs> that was horrible. We have the first mechanism, which is these sliders. So you slide them all to the middle, but you know, someone who's dumb won't know. Slide those all to the middle, and then the combination is one, two, three and then you're gonna go knob, and then green, and then you're gonna go blue. And you're gonna slide that, and then you're gonna take this, and then you're gonna put it, and then, and then you're gonna spin, and then spin this, and then, and then it slides out, and you can take all of your goodies out of it. Right here we have six American dollars, so that's pretty, pretty sick. So here we have the actual mechanism. I'm gonna get a good camera on this, so you guys can see it better. All right guys, so here we have this. You can see the mechanism we have in place here. So this is the, the lock for this side, and you can see when I turn these gears, that little red piece will go into the side of the structure like that. And so the way we do this is we turn it out like that. We rotate this. This is me rotating this little thing right here. Rotate this, um, one, two, three. That'll pretty much randomize it, right? So you randomize it like that. This thing can now not turn inward because it's being blocked. So you can see that. It is being blocked by the sides of these these tubes. So in order to get that to work, we need to do the combination. So one, two, three is safe, meaning we rotate it and they're all rotating. We're gonna put the knob to the top right here. And then we're going to go one around and put the green to the top and then blue to the top. I'll show you what that looks like. So one around green to the top and then blue to the top. And this thing now slides in and now you can see it is flush like that so you can slide the safe out. But that doesn't even matter unless you have all of these things lined up in the correct position like so. So now those are sticking into the wall and the key comes out like this. The key is really simple guys. Literally you just put the key in, click it into place and then this, this little piece right here that is in the wall, in the, in the hole in the wall, will actually come out. So it's just like, just a little bit out there. This will come out like this, and then take the key out, obviously, and there you go. The unbreakable part of the box, which is pretty much unbreakable, like you can't, you can't really rip it open. It is, ah, this thing's hefty, guys. I'm gonna actually demonstrate just how 
hard it would be to get into this. You can't use anything but your hands, and yeah, you have three minutes. Okay, so to start at the front, can't break these off. This is the only piece that can really come out, but then once you do that, like, you can't open this top part. You might be able to bust this, okay. This thing right here, so you can bust that. You can't, like, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I wasn't happy with that. I put in another half hour of work and now it is, what I'm hoping is 100% unbreakable um, with me just using my hands, trying to get this open. Let's try it. Before this thing would tear open, it was pretty difficult. But now I can't even, can't get that out. Can't really get my finger in there. Um, these things, these don't come off really. I know the combination to this, but I, I, I'm gonna try and break stuff off. This thing is reinforced now, so you can't take that off. The only thing that comes out really is this. You can't take it apart with your hands, you know? You can't take these apart. I honestly say I can't get into this without, like, I can't break it like this, because it's too, it's like too strong. <laughs> everything's, everything's all tightened down, you know? This is officially an unbreakable Lego safe, you know, unless you get a hammer or something, but I'm not gonna go ahead and break all these pieces. So, by the laws of hands only, no tools, this is an unbreakable Lego safe. You can take pieces off, but without knowing the combination, you will not be able to get into this. So I know the combination, which is that, that, that. That slides over. These things all slide to the middle. And this thing here goes in there, slides over, and the safe will come out. And there you have $5. Let's head back over to set A and finish off the video. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you click that like button, comment down below, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That is your mission. Please accept it. <laughs> this was actually a really fun build. It did take a while. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, a lot of things I planned to do in this actually didn't end up working, so I had to kind of rework things, but just always when you're building stuff and creating anything, never give up because giving up is just losers loser talk and you know sometimes i do give up on things but make sure you exhaust all your other options before you give up because giving up is just eh. you know persevere through it but anyway this thing is unbreakable within the laws of you can only use your hands i couldn't break into this thing i'm sure if i had like hours this is the only little fly i saw down here is you can disconnect that but like you still you still can't you can't ooh flaw Okay, so maybe there's one little flaw right there, but you know, it, it's, it, you get the point, it's unbreakable. Thank you guys for watching. There's two videos that are popping up on the screen right now. One of them is when I built a wearable Lego Iron Man helmet that's pneumatic, it is sitting right here. The other one is a video YouTube specifically recommends just for you, so go check that one out as well. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Riley, and I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See you then.